Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. I want to first start by wel wishing everyone a very happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you decide to go out this afternoon or tonight and party that you stay safe. Um, but because of St. Patrick's Day we are offering some specials so make sure that you click down here on our announcements link and then you can go and read about all the specials we have going on. But make sure you take advantage of those because they're only going to last throughout today. Okay, with that said, I want to add on to what I talked about last week when I talked about how to host unlimited websites the right way. And we talked about how we set up our reseller account, which gave us access to our web host manager, where we add all our sites in there and give each site their own cPanel. Well, today I'm going to demonstrate on how you can add WordPress to all of those unlimited sites to your hosting. Now, WordPress, it kind of started as a just a blogging platform, but now it's the most popular content management system out there. Um, anyone, if you don't have any programming knowledge at all, then you could still create a professional looking website with WordPress. And I'm going to show you how to do it here in five minutes. So in, in under five minutes, really. But you can offer this service to your clients or you might have it for your own sites. So either way, and if you're a web host, you can actually run your entire website on WordPress. You can install it and then you can um, you know, find you a nice looking web hosting design and, and offer hosting to your clients. Um, with your WordPress site, or you might have clients that you know they need a mobilized website, and you can easily do this, for, offer this for them by just simply installing WordPress. So let me show you how easy it is. Right now on our screen, we are in the NameHero.com platform. So we've clicked on products and services, and we've selected NameHero.org, that account we set up last week. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is click down here to log into the web host manager, and once we get in there, we're just going to simply click List Accounts. And then we can see our NameHero.org account. Okay, so next we need to access cPanel. So we're just going to click this link. And we're automatically taken there. It just takes a second to redirect. All right, now once we're in cPanel, like we said in the tutorial last week, this is where you manage everything about your site. Um, you can FTP in right here with the file manager. You can add images and all kinds of stuff here. Um, and we have several tutorials on cPanel too, and, and I'll continue with my video series to help you get more familiar with it. But what you want to do is scroll down here to the bottom, and you want to go to the Soft Delicious App Installer. Now this is going to install WordPress for you without any coding knowledge, without any experience FTP, and you don't have to do worry about anything. Just click here. Okay, now when you get in here, you're going to see all the different pieces of software that's out there. Um, another one we're going to cover in detail later this week is the is WHMCS, because if you're a web host, that's going to help you manage all your clients. Um, but for now, we're just going to worry about WordPress. So we're going to click over here, and we're going to click Install. Okay, so once we get there, we now have to just define a couple of options. So we're going to first choose our protocol. We're just going to leave this default. If we um, wanted to have a secure certificate, which if you've ordered um, if you've ordered our corporate account, then you actually have a free certificate. So make sure you get that installed or, or have one of our techs install that for you. And then you could select HTTPS. But we're just going to leave this default. We're going to keep the um, domain namehero.org. Now it's going to ask us what directory we want to install this in. So if you want to have your directory, your WordPress in, say, slash blog, then you would enter blog here. Now, if you wanted to use WordPress to run your entire site, then you would just install it in the root directory. So that's what we're going to do for namehero.org. We're going to install WordPress in our root directory. So we're just going to leave that blank. Um, database name, just leave that default. You don't need to change that. Um, and, you know, unless you want to put main site or something to help you keep up with that, but you know, really it's not need to be changed. Either table prefix, either does not need to be changed. Um, the site name, just enter the name of your site. So in this case, we're going to enter namehero.org. And then we can just call this um, web hosting. Let's just call it discount web hosting. Okay, and there's some other options we can um, enable here. Um, if you're using multi-site and stuff like that, I'm going to leave that just um, default. Um, an admin username, you can make this admin or whatever is, um, you know, fits, fits um, your needs. Um, I don't really like to use admin a lot because, you know, that's the first thing a hacker is going to try is admin if they're trying to access your WordPress installation. So I'm just going to make up a username and then I'm going to grab a password. 
Now, you want to make sure when you generate this password and stuff that you save this stuff um, just in case. You know, I, I can't tell you how many customer support tickets we deal with with people losing their WordPress credentials. And it's a little bit of a pain to get in on the back end. Our, obviously, our support team can do that for you. But it's just best to keep this in a safe place just to, to save you that um, annoyance. Um, enter your email address. To, um, for your admin account, this is what will be used in case you do need to recover this password. Uh, so make sure that's valid as well. Again, that's another common problem we see in the support center is people coming in losing their password and they don't have access to this admin email. So that makes it really hard for us to um, to recover that and it, it takes a, a good bit of time. So make sure you, you, you enter that correctly. Next, you must select your language. We're going to leave it default English. There's some extra plugins you can add, like limiting your, the login attempts um, just for security. We're just going to leave it off, um, but we could, of course, add that if we were you know a little paranoid there's some advanced options we can add as well um, WordPress in their newer versions automatically upgrade and if you're going if you plan on doing a lot of customizations to your site you probably want to turn that off or on so by default it's off um, in, in soft delicious here but you could turn it on I'm gonna leave it off and um, I can update that myself or you can have it automatically upgrade if you're not gonna do many changes and just do that and it'll save you the the pain from having to do that when they when they release their updates um, automated backups this is really cool because this will actually back up your WordPress install for you and it's gonna back it up on the server so if you accidentally make a mistake or, or something or, or lose some data then you just restore a backup so you can do once a day once a week or once a month so let's select once a day here now you can see the rotation um, just ha how many that um, you want to keep um, I don't recommend really doing unlimited because it's going to eat up a lot of your, your disk space with this. So, you know, just I, I, really two, three, four, that's really good. It defaults to four. Um, but, you know, really after four backups, you're not going to really need any more than that. Okay, finally, you can select your, your theme. You'll notice we have plenty of pre-installed themes here for you. And this just is to make your site look professional and get it going really quick. So you're free to go out and add whatever theme or buy another theme. But we have a lot of good options here, and you can even search for one um, that fits your needs. But I'm just going to go ahead and click this one for our um, demonstration. But you can actually hover over here and click Demo and actually go to the, the vendor site that released this theme for us, and you can demo it before you, before you do that. Next, if you have a um, webmaster or someone else in your company you want to send this information to, you can, ins you can email it to them. If you want to email it to yourself, enter your email address there. And it's just going to give the details of this installation. So um, you know, whoever you send it to, they know what, what we did. OK, so we're going to click Install. As you can see, the installer runs. It doesn't take very long at all here. It's going to start. It'll, it'll move a lot faster here in a second. And you can see we're finished. OK, so now NameHero.org is ready to go. You can see we've got WordPress installed. And we've got a site live. So we can even pull this window in. And you can see it's also mobilized. So now we have a mobile website, mobile optimized website online. And we're ready to do, to do business. Um, so this is great. You know, if, if you want to do your own personal blog, you know, it's just easy to set it up. Or if you want to use WordPress as your content management system, then you know, it's that easy to set up as your site. Um, now, if you want to make changes to your site, you just click here to the administrative URL. And from right here, you can log in using those credentials we um, talked about that I said that you wanted to keep um, handy. So remember, we used um, NHorg. And we used um, that, that strong password. And you can see, of course, we're not getting in. That's why I said it's careful to make sure you got it right. And there we go. OK, so as you can see, once we log into here, this is our WordPress dashboard for the administration. Um, we can go ahead and you can see there's some updates already ready for this. And it's actually for the theme. So if you wanted to, you could click here and update that. Um, and you could also, um, you know, update any plugins or anything right here. Uh, for now, for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave it be. But if we wanted to start making posts, we can do this here. This is my first blog post. Test one, two, three. You know, it's just this simple to get up and going. So then we've published. And then we can actually go back to here. We can refresh. And we can see, actually, I don't have the, um, the post displayed on here, so we can go to view post. Okay, and you can see my first blog post. Now, depending on your theme, you know, you might spend some time to customize this, but everything is done inside this um, admin panel here. So, you, you know, you can go into appearance and themes and you can see the one you have selected. You can change or install other themes. Um, here's all the options for this theme is you can go through here and start filling out this stuff. 
And you can also, um, you know, define where the blog posts are and, and all that stuff. You know, what do you use your front page? And you can really have a um, very professional website online in under five, ten minutes here. Um, and this is great for your clients if you're offering this service. I mean, there's clients that will pay you just to set this up. And it, it, you can see using the Name Hero platform, it, it's very, very simple. Um, if you need to add another user to your WordPress um Dashboard here, say you have another administrator, another webmaster, another developer, you can add all their stuff in here. Just make sure to change their role to administrator. Just be careful who you give that to, though, because that's going to give them full access to make settings to this, to, to, to make settings and, and change stuff to your site. So that's going to pretty much conclude this, this brief tutorial on how to install WordPress and get up and going on your Name Hero reseller account. Again, this is great for web hosting. Um, agencies that are looking to install WordPress, or you can offer this to your clients. You know, if you want to resell web hosting, you can offer one click WordPress installs to your clients. Now, on the other side of things, if you're an ad agency and you have need for a lot of hosting for your sites, um, you know, this is how you get it set up and installed safely and securely very quickly. Um, and, and remember, everything is going to be right here in your web host manager, so you can easily access your cPanel and make any changes that you see fit. So that's going to conclude today's tutorial. Thanks a bunch. Uh, again, I wish everyone a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, make sure you do check out our specials on NameHero.com so you can make sure you save. And, and you know, if you need another domain, you're going to save big today. Um, and thanks a bunch. Make sure you share this video if you enjoy it. We appreciate your business, and we greatly look forward to working with you.